Hello and welcome to today's rift. I'm Stormo and I wish you luck, Diablo hero. took a lot longer to load uh, than it sometimes does and I've been playing a monk again so remembering the controls for my uh, demon hunter will be fun. We should hit level 61 fairly easily in this rift. We're already halfway through level 60 and then we can start getting Reaper of Souls gear which is really my cool. Is I mean we still get regular gear but um, we also get uh, new gems and everything like that so that'll be good fun. I say new, of course, but you know, Reaper of Souls has been out, actually, probably going on for a year now. Um, I think it came out, yeah, about this time last year. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's talk, actually, of another expansion which will possibly be announced at uh, BlizzCon this year, I'd imagine. Um, if Blizzard keeps their um, Diablo 3 expansion schedule, like they keep their WoW schedule, it'll be about once every two years um, for an expansion, so... Not enough um, but yeah, I'll be interested to see what a second expansion to Diablo 3 looks like uh, when that happens finally. Not just from the point of view of where they take the story after this, um, but also just uh, the features they decide to add. I think, like, for me, Reaper of Souls is the version of Diablo 3 that's complete. Like, this is the game that should have been there in the beginning, minus probably Act 5. Um, so I sort of wonder where they would go with that, because they don't really need to fix too much. I don't think, with the game now. Like, they've got it to a point um, where I think it's... where Well, not not just I think, where Blizzard seems to think that it's good enough. Um, and it's basically what they seem to have wanted to do at the beginning. Maybe minus Auction House and a few other bits and pieces, but certainly more like a Diablo game than the older ones. Um, and of course you have things like Adventure Mode and stuff like that that's um, really helping out with that. I get more plans. I always get plans. I don't know why. It's, uh, it's like I never picked them up when I was leveling like my main characters or something like that. It's really strange. So. Anyway, um, I'm going up this way. I apologise if you can hear a police siren in the background. You may not be able to. The mic may not pick it up, but it's quite loud. Um, I can hear it, so if you hear that, that's what I'm hearing as well. Uh, looks like we went the wrong way there, so we've got to go back this way. Okay. So yeah, um, speaking of uh, stuff like that, I've been levelling my Season Monk again. Um, got her to 70. She's doing a Torment 2 at the moment. Um, pretty easily, pretty nicely. And um, I'm kind of happy with how I've got the build. I ended up getting a uh, Gungo gear, um, which has the effect of spreading um, Exploding Palm to enemies that haven't already taken. Exploding Palm is a damage over time skill. It does a lot of damage, but it does it very slowly. Um, and being able to spread it, there used to be a rune that Exploding Palm had that would let you spread it um, across. This is a dead end as well. Where the hell am I supposed to be going here? Hang on a second. Ah, up there. Okay. Good. Glad we figured that out. Because that was getting really annoying. It's, uh, for some reason I just went around in a big loop when I got here and I didn't notice that uh, I was supposed to go up that way. So, I'll go up this way. So, yeah. Um, here we go. We should now find more enemies. Yay! So, so yeah, I've got uh, my seasonal character up to Torment 2. Um, I've actually done some rifts with her as well. Um, she's been able to... I've got her to a level 16 grift um, that she's barely completed, so I will need... Hey, we could go back and flog that. Um, so, um, I need... Uh, uh, um, what was I thinking? That's right, I need more gear, basically, to get her to um, higher grade rifts. But I'm not sure I'm going to push it that much. Season 2 is ending in a couple of weeks, and I might take Season 3 a bit more seriously. Um, I only really did Season 2 because I wanted to try out a monk, and it was a good excuse um, to create a seasonal character um, as well while I was doing that. So. And I've done okay. I've done more in this season than I did in um, the past season, that's for sure. Um, where I only really did... Uh, got a character to 70 and then never played her again. But yeah, Season 2 is going to be much more fun. Um, I might even do some videos with the Monk at some point in the future. Um, although, I'm not sure I'm planning to keep her around uh, once the season ends. Because I've actually filled all my character slots, I'm going to have to delete one if I want to make a Season 3 character. So, I'm not sure if it'll be the Monk or if it'll just be some other Lobby character that um, I've got lying around that I don't have too much time invested in and won't miss if they're gone. I kind of wish there were separate character slots for seasonal characters or some other... More character slots would just be really handy, like... 20 or so would be really good, um, but uh, for now, I should be okay. Um, anyway, coming across here, going up this way, which is good fun. Um, 
Other than that, I've spent the weekend mostly playing City Skylines, which of course I've now made a video of, um, which you can go and watch. It's really cool. Um, and I've got Helldivers, which I need to sit down and play. I'd forgotten I had it. Um, I was supposed to review it, actually. I'd completely forgotten about it um, until uh, today, actually. Well, not today, yesterday. I remembered it. And uh, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to review that, so I'm going to put some time into that after I make this video. And uh, hopefully write a review. It's an interesting game. A bit Diablo-esque. Um, and uh, yeah, a little bit... Uh, basically space-based. It's like a twin-stick shooter type thing um, with Diablo-style loot, I think. It has Diablo-style camera anyway. So I need to put more time into it anyway before I write a review of it. I, just, I, forgot, I, I even forgot I had it. I got it a couple of weeks ago as a review copy, and it was just, it was one of the things where I got it and I entered the code and then I was like, I have other stuff to do, and uh, didn't think much about it, so I'm a little bit late on the review for that one, but uh, that'll be good fun when it happens. So this might go to be a one level lift, too. Maybe not, though. So, certainly got a fairly big West March map here, though. One thing I'm looking forward to in uh, patch 2.2 is the new rift layouts. Um, basically, they're adding um, the ability for some of the more static rift, rift maps, like the, the Act 1 ones that are like Weeping Hollow and Fields of Misery and stuff like that. Um, adding the ability to those to be randomised a lot more, um, which is really good. Um, because when you get one of those maps, you sort of just know where everything is on it. You don't really have to explore and stuff like that. But the exits are always randomised, but otherwise the layout is the same as they are if you're playing through them in the regular game or in uh, adventure mode. Um, so changing that will be really cool. Uh, it'll be much more like this, I think. I did actually put some more time into the PTR, because there was a new PTR patch um, the other day. didn't change a huge amount mechanically, but it did restore the um, feature where rifts close after 30 seconds, um, which I think I mentioned in a video last week was a bug. Um, in the game, um, but yeah, rift close after 30 seconds again. And what else? There was there's a new uh, completion of Greater Rift Spring, which is a bit more detailed, and that's actually one feature they've. I'm not sure it was in the version I played for a video a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't mention it um, before then. But they are increasing the blood shard cap. But they're doing it in a really interesting way. So. You don't know, um, there's a cap of about 500 on blood shards, in fact it's not about 500, it is 500. There are, you can have 500 blood shards, but the problem with that is that it's very easy to max that out. In fact, I've done it on this character more than once, um, and I actually did it on my monk, my season monk the other day. Um, looks like we are going to get a second level. Anyway, so there's a cap of 500 blood shards, but the problem with that is that it and what, while, Blizz, while capping blood shards is a good idea, um, because it forces you to spend them, you, Blizzard doesn't want you hoarding blood shards. Blood, blood shards. Blood shards. Blizzard doesn't want you hoarding blood shards um, for a particular purpose, right? The idea is that you get them and you spend them when you get them um, as much as you can. That's kind of how I tend to do it. Um, often blood shards are really just a way of... Uh, really just a way of converting it into um, uh, crafting materials because you rarely get what you want from them but I, I have got good stuff out of them before in fact I got um, I got a really really nice two-handed weapon on my monk um, it's like an ancient uh, I forgot the name of it um, it's a pole arm of some sort and it's really nice and like 3800 DPS and so it's crazy stats um, it's not it's not really one of the good monk weapons it just rolled really nicely so um, I was really happy with that weapon until I get something better it's um, working out really well so yeah so the way it's happening with blood shards is as you break your personal best grade of rift records you'll get the cap increased um, to whatever your new per personal best is I'm not sure the, the way the maths is I know when I did a grift with my monk yesterday her cap got increased from 500 to 810 and that was like a level 15 grift um, so I don't know what it'll be um, for higher greater rifts than that. Um, like this character, which is doing like greater rift, like 32, 33. Um, I'm not entirely sure. And uh, not this character. Uh, my main demon hunter is doing 32, 33. I've actually gone backwards. That I is dumb. Ah, again, go down that way. Pay more attention to the minimap, Norman. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Here we go. Okay, so clear this out here. Get this knocked out of the way. And, yep. Here. And Rift Guardian. Yay, it's Sedea. 
Sorry, it's not Sedea. It's the Binder. Sedea is even from... Wait, no, that doesn't work either, does it? Um, anyway, the point is that it's the Binder. Um, and, uh, so this will be fairly quick. We'll take a look at our gear. Um, and we'll pick up Blood Shards, which I'll probably do spend. Did he cap out Blood Shards? Oh no, that was my other Demon Hunter. That's right, I remember now. Okay, so, I don't think we got too much of note. We did get Bond Prowess. That's an upgrade for that ring. Um, no, probably. No. Uh, no. Yes, that's an upgrade. That's a big upgrade, actually. Um, not an upgrade. We should get a fair few upgrades here, actually, because we're level 61 now. Oh, not quite an upgrade. Oh, it is with the socket, though. So, I am going to switch out my Kamar 10 clip for that. Um, Yellow is the new legendary, by the way. Mm, is that an upgrade? It's close. It's very close. Um, so, it's probably... Yeah, I can take the damage and socket it. So, that'll be cool. I'll do that. That's uh, not an upgrade. That's... Mm, just barely an upgrade. Oh, that's a huge upgrade again. Okay. No socket, but yeah, 22 damage. That's a big upgrade, so we'll go for that. Uh, I don't think I've got much else uh, here. So yeah, so fairly significant uh, boost there just from all those things. I'll socket the uh, chest, put some green gems in that, and uh, we shall carry on tomorrow. Thank you all for watching.